So we have Stefano Passerini online. Uh, hey. Hi, Stefano. Uh, nice to see you. Uh, he is professor at Kazro Institute for Technology and Helmholtz Institute of Ulm, and he will present us reactive metals for the energy transition today. Uh, the floor is yours, Stefano. Please go ahead whenever you are ready. Okay. I just want to uh, make it clear that I'm no longer a professor at KT because I retired, but I'm a kind of a senior fellow right now. And with respect to the previous speaker, I, I'm, I'm always talking about electrochemical energy storage or similar kind, but I'm more looking at uh, the larger scale. So what I will talk today about is uh, the use of reactive metals, which include many of the metals mentioned by the previous speaker for energy storage, but may be used in a different way. So, you know, we have in Europe this big target of decarbonizing completely uh, the, the energy sector. And uh, in spite of many discussion, I'm Italian, so in Italy still there, there are a lot of concerns, but actually renewable energy available in Europe are more than sufficient for the EU need. The only real problem is that, uh, uh, you know, uh, PV is usually stronger in winter, wind, uh, sorry, in summer, wind is strongly more strong in winter, but nonetheless, there is not uh, a full coverage along the year. And uh, what we have uh, recently calculated, you can go and look at the numbers in the cited publications, is that uh, to be sure that we will have energy for next winter, we need to store somewhere 1,270 terawatt hour. This is for the entire European Union, okay? It's a big number. And this is based on the assumption, the primary energy need, the efficiency uh, of, of energy storage, power, uh, power grid losses, and so on. Okay, so what we really need in Europe is to establish a huge energy storage system. Right now we are using oil and gas whenever we need, but this is not going to uh, work in the future if we want to get rid of them. I have to say that more than 100 years ago, a German scientist, uh, Oswald, who actually got the Nobel Prize, proposed this sentence, which I really like it, okay? The path leading to the solution of the most difficult of all technological questions, the delivery of cheap energy must be discovered by electrochemistry. Obviously, I like it because I'm an electrochemist. But anyway, I mean, electrochemistry and batteries, you have seen the previous presentation, are already doing very well. Practically, uh, you know, uh, they solve the transportation, maybe right now the... Um, range of uh, EVs uh, still limited to maybe 300, 400, 500 kilometers, depending on the car. But, you know, the technological development of batteries, lithium ion batteries, first of all, and then maybe the new chemistries that are coming will solve the problem. And this is already demonstrated. I mean, the first quarter 2023 Tesla Model Y was the most sold car worldwide. In August 23, already 20% 20 new percent of new cars in the EU were electric vehicles. In September, and this is something we should really consider, uh, more than 1 million EVs were produced in China. And then there is a news I got this morning, actually, I added to my presentation, is that uh, Shell decided to close the hydrogen refueling station in California after having closed those in the UK. So this is a... I would say a clear indication that batteries have solved the problem of transportation. They are also doing very good in terms of storage, energy storage. Okay, it's a fast grow. I mean, in Germany, I have the numbers for Germany. The home storage capacity doubled in one year, and it's already accounted, accounting to 30% of the German pumped hydro storage. Okay, so in a couple of years, there will be more energy stored in, in, in houses on lithium-ion batteries mostly than in, in the, in the um, German pumped hydro storage system, okay? Nonetheless, we are always talking about different numbers, okay? You see here, we are talking about gigawatt hour, but what I mentioned before were 1,270 terawatt hour. These are orders of magnitude higher. Okay, many orders of money. So conventional batteries cannot uh, address this problem. 
a few